I'm sort of seen uh, often as a poet of the local, though I don't like to be categorized in any particular way. Uh, I live where I live, and somebody said that everywhere is local, wherever it is, so to speak. Um, the question of community is what concerns the next poem I'd like to do. <coughs> And it's the title poem from a book called One Another. And it finds me sitting in the pub one night, drinking in the usual company, but sitting alone and looking at the people around me and um, reflecting on the people I know and how we relate to one another. Community really isn't just about um, lovey-dovey being nice to one another and knowing all knowing one another. It's about living with the people you don't like also, or you don't particularly like, people you're very close to, the people who are sort of marginal. Uh, but really, the question of community is about our mutual dependency, that we need one another. And that, that little phrase, which is a the grammarians tell me a compound reciprocal pronoun, one another. When you think about it long enough, it's a very mysterious phrase about the one and the other. So this is a, a thought about uh, the eternal verities and about memory and what will be remembered of you by the people you know. One another. From the book, one another. The how or when or where is in the dark and could be closer than the door. But meanwhile, as you sit and sip your brandy, be assured that all will be taken care of in due course, especially in the light of those men and women just now laughing or contrary at the bar, who, whenever need arises, will not fail to lift and carry you or one another, or to comfort whenever there are those in need of comforting, just as they themselves will be eventually. And afterwards, in the accustomed way, there will be a shared remembering that could include of you some things that you yourself may already have forgotten or never realized or would prefer unspoken then, within a month, that communal recall must make way for the beginning of forgetting. For it is remembrance that allows us, little by little, to forget. Bleak shelter, this, for all our nakedness. But out of it, quite suddenly, a surge of unexpected joy at how you're blessed amongst those men and women, one but individual in their natures at the bar, all of whom you know would grant you grace and do the necessary for you, just as they'd assume you'd do for them, in the ordinary way that unsung people just like these have been easing one another into all of this and out of it, since this town began beside the river. No need for any song and dance about this commonplace, but keep the moment warm before you say good night by calling for another distillation of the sun, the earth, the grape, the time it took, the work of hands, the care, the light of one another, in the aftertaste.